Here is everything you wanted to know about a kangaroo. Firstly, let me debunk the urban myth that the word kangaroo means I don't know or I don't understand. Apparently that's not true. The adult kangaroo is called a buck, females called a doe, babies are called joeys, and a bunch of them is called a mob. We were driving along the road with these roos and uh, clocking about 40 kilometres an hour and they were keeping up. In fact, they probably went faster than 40 kilometres an hour, which is kind of amazing. But we're heading further. So the town of Tarawi is actually a little ghost town with a, an inhabitants of about 150 people. It used to be a jumping town of about 2,000 back in the day when Australia screwed up the railway system. The railway system was screwed up because every state decided to do their own thing. So we had a mixture of narrow gauge, medium gauge and broad gauge railways. So what happened in Tarawi was that the broad gauge railway that came up from Adelaide had to be changed, well had to swap over to narrow gauge so the trains obviously couldn't, you know, couldn't ride on the narrow gauge so that all the stuff had to come off the train, all the livestock, all the folks... Um, all the goods that were transported that way had to come off and be reloaded on narrow gauge trains going further north. So as a result, Tarawi was a busy place. And the thing is now that it's just empty, you know, it's full of beautiful old crumbling buildings. They've tried to renovate some of them and create museums and um, relics of, of, you know, blacksmiths places there. Um, but people don't go up there anymore, really, um, except perhaps for, you know, passing caravans like our, our little setup. We stay there. We stay in, a, in the park, which, is, which used to be the railway siding, which is lovely to stay. Very, very quiet, just gorgeous. So quiet you can, you know, you can hear it. You can hear the silence, you know. And if you look up and you see the Milky Way at night, you can even see the colours of the, of the planets. It's just amazing. And the folks that are left there are friendly and generous. You know, we actually stumbled upon um, a bunch of mechanics or a, a mechanic and his mates sitting around having a beer. This was the only activity in the town on a Saturday night and we needed a puncture fixed on one of our bikes. Um, we thought the guy was busy. He was obviously busy fixing someone else's car. Everyone else had words to say about it. But, you know, he said, you got time for this, mate? And he said, no problem. In fact, he wouldn't even charge us at the end. We still gave him some money, but he didn't want money for it, even though he was, he was working you know, right until about 10 o'clock Saturday night. The other thing that really touched me was, um, and talking about the friendly, generous folks that are left there, that somebody, we never saw who it was, cleans the toilets, which are just public toilets on the main street, close to where we were camped, and uh, keeps them you know, supplied with everything. Um, you know, for our use, and we don't pay a cent for staying there, you know. It's quite amazing, really. People should go up there. It's great. The, pub, the publican who um, used to have, own the pub, well, actually still owns the pub, he used to do counter teas there. We were thinking we'll have dinner over there. And he told us, he was also the car mechanic, same guy, he told us that um, he wasn't doing counter teas anymore because it was conflicting with the business of the, of the next town, um, and, you know, there weren't enough people for, for, to run two counter teas, so he stopped doing it. You know, this is another amazingly generous thing that we, we saw, one of, something you wouldn't see in Adelaide, I suppose. And uh, so it's kind of a sad place in a way, and, uh, you know, I think it would be great if we could, you know, go up there and stay and support whatever's going on still. It's just got, it's just a beautiful place.